Hello friends, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video tutorial we will be talking about multiple cloning site. We have been talking about cloning and the recombinant DNA technology for some days and for some videos. Now this is a very quick video about what is a multiple cloning site in, in a sense and those guys who thinking about what is it uh, and you also heard a name called polylinker or something those are the same thing multiple cloning side and polylinker are the same thing okay they are the same thing so what is multiple cloning site multiple cloning site is the specific region region where exactly cloning takes place that means uh, for that you need to know the basics of cloning in the basics of cloning what we need to know is that we have a target dna in somewhere in our dna we have a target say the gene x this is what we need to clone we need to amplify in number so normally we know we can cut this gene with uh, with restriction endonuclease enzymes and we have our target dna but uh, the idea is to insert this target dna into a system which can give us multiple copies of the same dna and we want to insert it in a host cell the host cell can be bacteria or yeast most of the time it is bacterial cell if you are looking for the genes, prokaryotic genes or even smaller eukaryotic genes. So here we take this gene and insert it into a host bacterial cell. But there, there lies a problem because the bacterial cell cannot uptake a fragmentized DNA. I mean even it can uptake a fragmentized DNA but uh, sometimes it integrates it in, inside its own genome, bacterial genome or sometimes it degrades that fragment of the DNA but the problem is uh, in this single insertion is that there is no way this single DNA fragment is going to be amplified so to make it amplified we need to put it in some some of the vehicle in some kind of genetic delivery system which has the capability of self replication and that's why we bring vectors we bring the vector vector is a gene carrying vehicle which will carry the segment of our interest or the DNA of our interest this is it and then this vector will be inserted to the host cell so now after inserting it to the host cell our host cell uh, will contain our DNA with the vector and then it can replicate and produce multiple copies as the bacterial cell will divide now the thing is for this delivery to happen properly we need to insert this target DNA inside the vector and how to incorporate the target DNA into the vector this is the process where we need to do the actual genetic cloning and this is the process we call and the, the place where exactly we cleave the vector and insert the target DNA is known as multiple cloning site actually it's known as a cloning site that means cloning site means if we look at vector this is the normal vector and there is a specific region in that vector which is a cloning site cloning site means that is the region where we can cleave it and insert the target DNA of our interest. Okay, that is the thing. Now, how can we cleave? How can we cleave a, a vector or uh, insert the target DNA? Cleaving a vector as well as cleaving the target DNA, we rely on an enzyme called restriction endonuclease. Okay, so we'll rely upon restriction endonuclease enzyme. So we call it RE, restriction endonuclease enzyme. There are many restriction endonuclease enzymes are out there which are endonucleases that means which will break down nucleic acid from the from the middle regions not from the terminal site from the middle site uh, from somewhere in between now this this they recognize a specific sequence only they will not leave the dna from any place they will recognize a specific sequence and then they will find the sequence and then they will clip that sequence. So here restriction endonucleases, there are multiple examples. I will give you some examples like ECO R1, uh, then there is HINDI3, BAM H1. So there are many examples like that. All of these restriction enzymes have a specific site, that's why we call it a restriction site, except for that site and that sequence they will not be able to clip the DNA okay so when we treat it with the eco, eco R1 we will be very sure that this is going to cleave at a specific point only not any other points okay it's bound so here we treat it with that in this site so this cloning site actually consists of a lot of this type of restriction endonuclease cleavage site 
okay restriction endonuclease have two different site one the the single site we call it a restriction endonuclease site or recognition sequence a restriction re enzyme recognition sequence and that sequence consists of it might be three nucleotide long four nucleotide long six nucleotide long like that so if it is a three nucleotide long we call it a tricutter if it's a four nucleotide long tetracutter and so on so eco r1 for example it it recognizes sequence g a a t t c this is the sequence eco r1 recognizes <clears throat> so this is the eco eco r1 re signal recognition sequence but it will cleave only after this fast a so g a it will cleave after a g a and the sequence we are talking about they are of palindromic nature so g a t t c from this side g a a TTC from that side also palindromic sequence so here they will cleave one from this a another from this a so they will generate that that is how they cleave and that thing is true for all of them they have palindromic sequences but they have different sequence to recognize and different places to cleave in those recognition sequences now the thing is this cloning site is consists of so many of these recognition sequences of restriction endonuclease enzymes so they are filled with this sequence so what we can do in a vector we can put many of such sequence we can artificially design and incorporate many of these sequences so that we can use that vector for for very very vast majority of cloning because if a vector contains six different restriction endonuclease recognition site that vector is much more versatile because we will treat with many different eight different varieties of restriction endonuclease we can use for cloning using that vector so what we do instead of putting one uh, sequence one type of restriction endonuclease sequence we put multiple restriction endonuclease sequences there so we call it a multiple cloning site because that site contains many restriction endonuclease cloning sites that's why we call it a multiple cloning site in the vector and this is a very important thing is one of the most important thing uh, that should be present uh, in a plasmid or in any other gene delivery vehicle to become a vector okay so that's all about multiple cloning site or mcs and they are also known as polylinker so they are the same thing multiple cloning sites other name is polylinker dna so that's it guys if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more and more updates and videos like this thank you